All right, well, this is just a quick note to let you know why you need to use an agent if you're buying or selling a home. The document I'm looking at is the Buyer Advisory. It's a recent version from October of last year, and it's just chock full of wonderful information that uh, you want to think about. If you're a buyer, it should scare the pants off you. If you're a seller, it's a great list of things that you want to think about. Uh, right up front, it's a plug for us. It says a real estate agent is vital to the purchase of real property and can provide a variety of services in locating, negotiating, and advising. That's what we do. But of course it also says we're not qualified to discover defects or evaluate the physical condition of the property, but we can assist you with that in finding the right people to go and look. So what are the some of the things that you need to look at and think about? Well, common documents, you want to look at the purchase contract, you want to have a real estate agent that can uh, go through the contract with you and know what every single paragraph means. You want to look at the MLS printout, and while that's a good thing to look at, it doesn't actually uh, bind the seller to anything. It's just uh, the best guess they have about their property, and there are often errors in it, and you have to make sure that what you're buying is really what you expect in spite of what the MLS printout says. You want to make sure that uh, there's a public report if you're buying a new property and see what's in it. Uh, the seller is supposed to disclose everything they know about the property that might affect the buyer's decision to buy. And that's a document that's uh, six pages long and needs to be filled out by the seller. The uh, If you're in an HOA or not, there are covenants, conditions, and restrictions. Uh, deed restrictions, they're sometimes called. If it's in an HOA, there are also bylaws you want to look at. You want to look at a homeowner's association's government governing documents. Uh, there are all kinds of wonderful things you can learn about HOAs by the reading those and you want to make sure that uh, the HOA is going to have rules that you can live with. Uh, you want to make sure you look at the title report because there may be things on the title that uh, make you raise your eyebrows. I've seen a few. Uh, you want to uh, see if you can get a home warranty. If you're a buyer, usually I try to get the seller to buy you a home warranty. If you're not in an incorporated area, then there's an affidavit of disclosure talking about access to the property, availability of water, and different things like that. Uh, if it's an older home, it might have lead-based paint, and you'll want to know about that. Uh, you want to get a professional inspection so you know that everything is working and up to code. You want to look in the tax records and just see what's going on around you. That vacant lot across the street is a zone for an apartment building, a store, or another home. Uh, you're going to get a termite inspection and check out and make sure that uh, there are no termites and if there are you want to get them treated and then if you're from Canada or somewhere else then other than the United States you want to know about the uh, Foreign Investment and Real Property Tax Act because there are some significant financial ramifications regarding that when you go to sell. And then when you're looking at a property you want to know about any repairs that have been done remodeling new construction you got to measure the square footage if that's important to you because the information in the tax records and in the MLS may not be accurate. You want to inspect the roof and make sure it doesn't have any leaks. If you're going to put in a pool or you have a pool, you want to know about the barriers that are required for those and what the ramifications of that are. If you have a septic system, it has to be inspected and it's transferred with the uh, state from seller to buyer. If you're hooked to a sewer, you just want to make sure that you are. And uh, I'm rehabbing a property right now in uh, Phoenix that was built in the 20s, and we had to replace some of the sewer lines because they're old clay pipes and they had just cracked and broken. So these are, you know, four or five feet under the ground, and you'll never know that there's a problem unless you have a plumber go in and scope them out and make sure it's right. Um, if you're buying a property in a more uh, rural area like Queen Creek, they're often on wells and you want to make sure that you uh, test the well and make sure that first of all it has uh, enough capacity and also that it doesn't have any uh, chemicals in it that you don't like. We have expansive soil problems in parts of the valley. You want to know about those. Uh, you want to know if there's ever been a fire or flood in the property and how it was fixed and remediated because floods lead to mold. And if it was a fire, you know, is everything still structurally sound? Um, are they having problems with pests, scorpions, bed bugs, roof rats, termites, bees? We have a lot of bee issues in Phoenix and you want to make sure you know about that. If you have endangered or threatened species living on the property, that may be a big issue. Um, 
although we generally don't have to disclose this you need to if it's important to you you want to know if people died there or if felonies were committed and somebody got murdered uh, we do have to tell you if it's haunted but we're not required to tell you if someone died there it's just a very strange thing but there are websites where you can find out whether someone died or not and of course you want to check out the interior whether it has mold or not dampness chinese drywall problems right on gas galvanized piping meth labs stuff like that where exactly are the property boundaries this is important to know and uh, typically a real estate agent can guess but they won't know so if it's really important and it's not obvious you might want a surveyor if the house is in a flood zone you might want to get flood insurance you want to get an insurance claims history to see when the last time a car drove through the living room happened and how they got it fixed uh, there are just so many things to be interested in when you're buying a house and when you're selling one you want to know about these things because this is stuff the buyers are going to ask about well if they bother to read this notice anyway and then around the area what's going on around the areas what's going on with the vacant lot next door what's going on with the house down the street that looks run down are there power lines running across the front yard or backyard are you near one of the superfund sites like down in Tempe or Mesa or South Scottsdale uh, is there a freeway going to be built in your backyard? What about crime statistics or can you find out what's going on in the neighborhood? Are there any sex offenders nearby? Does it matter? Was it a sex offender who's been to prison or was it somebody who has taken a leak in the back of the dumpster and got caught? Because both are sex offenses. How about forested areas? If you have a house you're buying in Payson or Flagstaff or somewhere where there's a lot of trees, are there forest fire dangers and problems? Are you near an airport? If you're buying a house in Surprise, we have to carry around a map that shows where the jets take off and land because there have been so many issues with that. Are you, how is your property zoned? Is the house you're looking at buying or the one you're selling uh, zoned appropriately? What about the zoning in the rest of the neighborhood? Are you uh, waiting for someone to build a high rise across the street from you? Are you in the right school district? Are the schools that you want to send your kids to nearby. What's the city like? What are city services like? Some cities have better services than others. Is it important? I know I live in Scottsdale. I have a larger lot and I really like having the service where they come by once a month and haul off all the junk out front. So we can just, uh, a couple days before they come by, we can dump all the yard trash and stuff like that and they haul it away. It's a wonderful service to have. You want to talk to the neighbors or if you don't, I often talk to the neighbors of properties that I'm selling because I want to make sure that I know what's going on in the neighborhood. And then, you know, the last thing you want to do is just drive around, check the neighborhood out, see what's going on. See if you see anything that makes you wonder. Anyway, this is the buyer advisory. It goes into depth in every one of these areas. And it's really a great idea to read it. And then you can go to all these different links that are in it. If you want a copy of this, I'm happy to provide you one. Just let me know and uh, I'll be happy to explain every word in any of these documents. I've been through them millions of times, well, hundreds anyway, and know them pretty well, and I'd be glad to help you out. I'm Patrick Harvey with West USA.